how are we doing today what's up so uh thank you for visiting my channel and most importantly welcome welcome let me move these flowers out of the way i've got to replace these um welcome to my channel my name is erica courtney excuse me for my voice i'm in florida and let me tell you the weather here has been up down up down up down i honestly i honestly don't know whether to wear a jacket i got a, a tank top on up under here guys i don't know whether to wear the tank top all day or whether to wear the jacket guys i cannot tell at night time it's becoming cold 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 50 45 50 in the daytime it's like 75 80 I cannot keep track of what's going on. But once again, my name is Erica Courtney. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. I put out news vlogs. Um, I'm a news vlogger, missing children's vlogger, um, domestic violence. I have all types of topics that, um, that I've been discussing for many, many years. Also, if you want to find a large amount of my content, just Google Erica's Box of Chocolate Blogs. And I have hundreds of blogs here that you can pour over on my actual website that is www.ericaecourtney.com so that's all mine i also have a youtube channel that's called living with erica and i'm just getting that started out has about 275 subscribers on there i'm just getting that started and so i wanted to create another channel which is called erica courtney vlogs for you yeah that's me erica courtney and i decided to do this channel because I curse a lot on the other channel and a lot of people probably are put off by that and so I wanted to create a channel excuse me guys I'm so sorry I just had a piece of dark chocolate yeah yeah okay so hold on give me one second so my voice feels a little bit strained so I'm a news blogger guys um, my stories are very sensitive uh, because I'm talking about different situations that are plaguing our communities and I'm bringing awareness to a lot of these stories and a lot of these creeps that I talk about and things of that nature. So um, I wanted to share it with you. Um, all right. So let's just get to the day's story. OK, uh, today's topic is going to be about this guy right here. Yeah, we're going to talk about that guy. Now, once again, this channel is my clean channel. OK, so there won't be any profanity at all all i am working diligently on doing that and uh yeah i have another channel where i get to get up all of my aggressions so if you want to see me you know um saying whatever i feel and and not so concerned about what other people think and things of that nature i think you can always go over to living with erica c-k-a-e-r-i-c-k-a -E -E okay so anyway so this story is coming out of franklin county north carolina a chiropractor in north carolina has been accused of committing sex crimes against his patients yikes news outlets report 59 year old eric madsen has been charged with at least four counts of sexual battery and assault on a female, Franklin Police Chief David Adams says female patients reported being touched inappropriately during treatments for lower back pain. My goodness, people, women are such, we're such in a vulnerable position and to have to lay there and go to this guy for our medicinal needs and for him to take advantage of us, it's ridiculous. Carrying on. Adams said Madsen has also practiced in Florida, oh goodness gracious, and Virginia. He says his department has been in contact with agencies in those states as well as the North Carolina Board of Chiropractors. Madsen is currently out on bond and uh, Madsen had no comment on the charges when a reporter spoke to him at his practice on Wednesday. Give me a second guys, let me see if I can find more information out about this guy to write back. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. It is getting hot in my face. Oh, my gosh. Don't take this jacket off. Burn it up in here. All right, guys, give me a second. All right. Give me a second. It is getting hot in here. Okay, so, um, and once again, first thing in the morning, it's going to be freezing. It's going to be 50, 55, 45 in the morning time, and then I'll be wearing a jacket, and then by the, you know, afternoon, I'll be back in a tank top. Okay. So, anyway, um... The assaults date back to March 2018, and the most recent one was on November 13th of 2019, one day before the arrest warrants were signed. Yeah, in the first incident, Madsen is accused of making remarks remarks about the victim's body before pushing roughly on her pelvic area. Um, in other cases, Madsen is accused of touching the women inappropriately and in one instance, putting his hand on her throat. The warrant said Madsen was arrested on November 15th. 
um, wow, guys, I honestly, um, so from my understanding, this guy, uh, is, I think he is the chiropractor listed in Mountain View Chiropractic. And I read some of the reviews about, um, him. And, uh, though he has about three and a half stars on his ratings, um, some of the ratings are a little bit off and I'm not sure if this guy is an actual legitimate chiropractor. Um, not that I am doubting his holistic approach, but, um, some people are saying he's done some pretty odd, unorthodox things to them and, uh, not including the stuff that I mentioned earlier. Let me turn my computer on here. Okay. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry about that. So, um... This is a review. Okay, my wife is a therapist who wouldn't think of telling vulnerable patients unsubstantiated scare care conspiracy theories. This charlatan, that's what this guy's saying. This is what the reviewer is saying. This charlatan took advantage of her weakened state telling her she needed. First thing was to buy $125. He has a gizmo, I guess, that he was selling. And the guy states here in the... um. Review, I had no idea anyone would tell a patient non-evidence-based quackery as a fact. As if that wasn't enough, he went deeper, doubling down on his wackiness with tales of jets flying over us uh, were her problem, and then he could see her problem was her aura. After a couple of visits, he got worse. He made her wait 30 minutes because he was running late and then took text messages while she was in his office. As if that wasn't enough, he then gave her less than 15 minutes and told her a whole new set of problems charging problems charging full price, of course. She's not going back. Weeks later, pollen counts are down and she is much better. And the guy says, now that her allergies are better, I guess the aura problem and the chemtrails must have stopped. He also said she needed to come every week if she had stress in her life. Another response, um, and this is what uh, the reply was to that from the owner. Paul, I do not know, so I'm guessing this might have been from the doctor himself, I guess, or the chiropractor himself. Paul, I do not know why you feel the need to troll my practice on Google. You have never been to my office. You have never even spoken with me. Your closed minded ignorance is appalling and is typical of those who have destroyed any aspect of health and mainstream health care. As far as the gizmo goes, I recommend you explore the Q-Link website and educate yourself. Oddly enough, your wife did report that the Q-Link was helping her and she was so impressed that she brought on her own a larger unit for her office. As far as time spent with patient goes, the time I spend with an individual is tailored to that individual and can vary from 15 minutes to an hour and a half. Again, you weren't there. Maybe the husband actually should have been there. Let me go down and read another review to you that I find quite weird. Um, this person um, said scare tactics based on unsubstantiated theories at each visit more new problems identified holes are in my aura sensitivity to chemtrails unhealthy air and franklin presumed unresolved emotions etc did not bother over the course of four visits to get to know me or my situation poor explanation of methods used painful poking despite reports that it hurts several manipulative attempts to promote dependency on this practitioner um, lack of respect for privacy here and untruths. His responses to my review and my husband's is not accurate. I could go on at great length with all of my concerns. Was disempowering and did not feel safe. Not recommended. So this is what another person said. Um, her name was uh, April Wickstrom. W-I-K-S-T-R-O-M. Um, let's see what else we have here. Another person left a uh, one review um, on it and I'll go down and read some of this. Um, after some mild poking and prodding, the doctor told me I have a sensitivity to chemtrails and suggested that I buy his supplements. He also told me he could sense my energy and that someone in my family read tarot cards. He also told me something about my wellness and quantum physics and alternate universes being related. 
if you're into that sort of thing, this may be the place for you. However, if you're seeking medical help and relief, I suggest going to someone who practices medicine in this, uni in this universe and reality. To be completely fair, I did leave his office feeling a good deal lighter after actually about $85 lighter to be exact. And this doctor replied, Brandon, you are correct. I don't dispense I don't dispense medical advice. I am an alternative holistic health practitioner. Best of luck to you. I hope you find a physician to help you heal. Wow. So um, I, I, I honestly don't know. And they are um, saying that they are, they're called Mountain View Chiropractic and Wellness Center. That's what he was. And uh, yeah, I don't see a site for that. Wait, let me see if I can find the actual site. The streets, 7392 Sloan Road, Franklin, North Carolina. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, Mountain View Chiropractic and Wellness Center. Let's see. We offer natural, holistic chiropractic in Franklin, North Carolina. Every one of our patients receives the highest level of care. Our personalized approach in chiropractic ensures patients receive a whole body wellness plan in Franklin, and Franklin, Dr. Eric Madsen personally works with you and provides a customized treatment plan so that you receive the first, the best possible results. Um, let's see. At Mountain View Chiropractic and Wellness Center, we offer a variety of services to care for your body. Guys, listen. Um, wow. And they said their uh, number one goal is to have you as healthy as quickly as possible. You know, for something like this, um, they said they do nutritional consultations, pediatric uh, chiropractic. Guys, let me tell you. Well, you see the story here. Um, this guy is going down for basically um, sexually assaulting women and um, or his patients and, wow, accused of sex crimes against them. So uh, be careful out there, guys. Be careful out there. Sometimes you have these uh, uh, doctors, therapists, uh, masseuse, things of that nature. I did a story one time on, uh, what was it, Massage Envy. And several of the patients there said they felt um, um, manipulated and that uh, they were embarrassed by the way they were treated when they were in the facility. So, yeah, once again, this is the guy's name. I'm not sure um, what's going to happen with him. But uh, that's the guy's name, so I might want to steer clear of him because at least five people have come forth and said that um, he's committed some type of sexual assault against them and he's not spoken up or said anything. All right, guys, so uh, I think I have he has a court date scheduled for, Dan for January 8th. 2020 and he hasn't made any comments in reference to this he comments on his um website i guess um or where the reviews are but he doesn't comment to these allegations yeah okay so anyway um might want to steer clear of this guy if he's ever in practice again okay guys so thanks again for visiting my channel once again my name is erica courtney stay tuned to the next blogs i hope i did good i didn't curse or say anything vulgar in this video and let me tell you it is not easy so i'm going to leave that right there and uh, peace out guys and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.